What's good everyone, it's Adam Mo. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and break down Twin by Roddy Rich and Lil Durk. All right, so first things first, the tempo on this one is 84 beats per minute and it is produced by Teddy Walton, Aaron Bow, and Bird. We're gonna start off with the main sort of, I call it like this vocal synth sound that you hear throughout the record. And uh, it sounds like this as a group. Uh, let's go ahead and play that out right over here. So this sound is broken down into three different parts. We have this sound. It's like this screechy vocal sound. Uh, for that, I'm using Logic's Alchemy synth called Short Vox Brass on the sustained performance. Next up, we have this sound. Same pattern. It gives it sort of like some more mid-range, not as high. Fills out some of that mid stuff. And the preset I'm using here in Alchemy is called Classic Simple Pad. And you can see the performance is sort of hovering between the strings and brighter. Next up, I need to fill in some of the lower portion of this sound, lower frequencies, and this is what we get. This sort of acts as like a filler. For this sound, once again, we're using Logic's Alchemy, and I'm using the Black Diamond preset found under leads, and I'm using the Glide Lead Performance. On all those sounds, I went ahead and added in a couple effects, as you see right here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bypass all of them so you see what each one of them is doing. So the first sound is, well, let's go ahead and take a listen to it dry before any of the effects. It's a little bit dull, not as exciting. So the first thing I did was clean up some of the low end, take out some of the screechiness, and sort of give a little bit more sheen to the top end. And then after that, I brought in the reverb because you need that reverb sound. This is gonna help push the sound a little bit in the background. As you can see, it's not 100% dry and it's about 35% wet. It's gonna stretch that sound a little bit. Next up, I need to make this sound brighter because the one in the track has sort of a lot more sheen to it. So I brought in Logic's Exciter over here just to sort of pull it out a bit. And then I just brought in another EQ just to clean it up a little bit more. And I brought in this multipressor over here just to sort of control it a little bit better. All right, and then for the intro part, we use the same vocal pattern over here, except I bounced it down as an audio file right over here. And, uh, pitched it down one full octave. If I just pitched this down one full octave using the synthesis, it's not gonna quite give you that same texture that you need. So I bounced that down to audio and this is what it sounds like at an octave lower. All right, it wouldn't sound the same if you just pitched it down within the synthesizers. But on this sound, I just, once again, just cleaned it up a little bit with some EQ and uh, put in another instance of reverb just to kind of give it that sound I was looking for. So that's the vocal sound, if you will, in this track. Next up, we have sort of this piano keys synthy section, and it sounds like this. All right, so that's broken down into three different sounds, the first one being this one. This is sort of giving us that gloomy vibe that we need here. And for that sound, once again, using Logic's Alchemy, one of my favorite synths to use, we're using the classic simple pad over here on the strings preset. Layered with that sound, we get a piano. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
So a little bit stabbier to get that sort of sound to pull out a little bit of the mix and of this section. For that sound, I went ahead and used Logic's Yamaha Grand, Grand, Grand Piano. Layered with that, we have this sound. Same pattern, just once again going for like a roomier type of piano. And uh, for that sound, I'm using Logic's Alchemy. And we're using the servo assisted preset in Alchemy and the performance on nice with a little bit of EQ just to clean out some of the low end. So all together, we get this once again, and just a little bit of reverb was put on top of it just to give it more of that uh, gloomy vibe. All right, moving on from there, we get some texture that's happening in the background. It's very subtle, but uh, once again, just adds to that vibe that we need. Once again, we're using Logic's Alchemy and uh, we're using the Chill Vibes preset. Performance is Soft Chime. And on that, just once again, use some EQ just to clean up some of the low end so we leave room for the 808. A lot of times if your 808 is not sort of shining in the mix and it's sort of dull, it's probably because you have a lot of lower frequencies on your other channels that are just conflicting with that sound and sort of washing it out. So just clean all that up, leave room for that 808. Remember, mixing is like building Lego and like every piece needs its spot in the mix. So over here, we just sort of cleaned up a lot of the low end. We don't need it. All right, moving on, we get a couple more similar sounds, but they're just used at different parts in the track. So we get the vocal section over here once again. And it's pretty much the same bounce down version as before, just sort of muffled out a little bit using this filter over here, just to clean it up so that I guess it leaves more space for the vocals and just gives it a little bit different so you're not always hearing that screechy sound over and over again. So that's that sound. And then we get this key sound over here. It's a little bit more of a pluckier sound. That's the pattern. Once again, Logic's Alchemy is being used and it is the water keys preset using the soft drops uh, performance. And just once again, some EQ and reverb. And that's pretty much it for all of the sounds. I mean, we got this other sound over here. It's another key type of sound. This is for the little breakdown that happens and you guessed it once again, Alchemy, it's all over this beat over here using the Antarctic Sun uh, preset with the velocity filter performance. So that's it for all of the sounds. Just once again, placed sporadically throughout the mix and arrangement. Then we get the drums. on the twos and fours, we get the hi-hat. So we get two patterns on the hi-hat, that's one. The other pattern of the hi-hat comes over here in the arrangement. You just get extra rolls, a little bit more pitched rolls as well. And then we got the 808 that just repeats itself. Lastly, we have the crashes, two sets of patterns on the crash. It sounds like this, but it's really like an open hat acting as a crash. It's just one over there on the top. And then in this section over here, it just happens on every one, so every bar. That's pretty much the beat right there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the rink we just broke down. Twin by Rowdy Rich featuring Lil Dirk. Let's go.
All right, so right there is Twin by Rowdy Rich and Lil Durk remade in Logic Pro. For those of you who use Logic, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you. Place it as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm gonna go to export all the mini stems, audio stems, and include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. That can also be found below the like button. If you did like this video, definitely drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps out the channel. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. Uh, if you do have any questions on this or just wanna chat, let's go and talk in the comment section below. Thanks for watching once again. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.